Good morning everyone, my name is Jonna Imaala and I am here today to present to you my study entitled Traversing the One-Way Tunnel, the Live Experiences of Emergency Room Nurses on Evidence-Based Practice. I believe that every healthcare provider must keep pace on the trends and updates in nursing science in order to provide equality healthcare services. Professional nurses are expected to practice from an evidence-based perspective in which they integrate the best available evidence with patient preferences, clinical expertise, and the clinical context itself. Evidence-based practice is a term that is familiar to nursing, allied health, and other health professionals, and increasingly, there is an expectation by health services patients and other consumers that best av available evidence is used to underpin clinical decision making. Evidence-based practice in emergency department plays a vi vital role in the delivery of care in order to prevent or provi in order to prevent the repetitions of undesirable outcomes. The emergency department is typically a place of high activities where practitioners care for the unanticipated presentations which yield the practitioner to use all the available resources. For the future, it must be recognized that the delivery of health that the, that the delivery of EBP requires the investment of time and resources within the workplace structure. That is the value of evidence-based practice must be acknowledged in practical ways such as in time, support at work, for skills development, and research activities. Nurses and other health care providers who utilize this approach must consider the most recent health care research when determining the course of care and treatment. The ultimate goal of EBP movement is to standardize the improve, standardize and improve access of quality care across the healthcare system. EBP has become an integral component of delivering high-quality patient-centered care. Methods Research design. This study utilized methodology qualitative methodology, specifically the Husserlian phenomenology. This is widely used in social science research as a method to explore and describe the lived experiences of an individual. The research intended to, to illustrate the structure of the experiences about evidence-based practice among nurses, participants, and their natural attitudes towards the phenomenon. The participants of this study were 10 emergency room nurses of the province of Ilocos Sur working in either a government or government or private institution which has at least 50 bed capacity. Moreover, the participants were chosen via purposive sampling with the following criteria. First, must be registered nurses. Second, respectively working in the department of emergency. Third, with a minimum experience of two years in the facility, and fourth, and any age and employment status. For data gathering tools and procedure in qualitative research, the researcher was the main tool in the data gathering of data. In the data gathering, sorry. A semi-structured interview and observations were used to gather data from five different hospitals in the province of Ilocos Sur. In utilizing the Hazarian approach, the interviewer put aside all the personal presupposition, assumption, and biases to obtain pure description of the participants' perceptions on evidence-based practice. The, the interview lasted about 30 to 45 minutes per participants. Ethical consideration, the researcher observed the principles of beneficence, autonomy, and justice. For beneficence, it is an ethical principle that addresses the idea that nurse, nurses' actions should promote good. Autonomy, individuals have the right to self-determination. The participants have the right to decide if they want to participate or not in this study. 
for justice it in this it helped in the selection of research participants maintain just fair, just and fair to the participants and to the community to gain trust while performing professionalism the researcher bracketed biases and focuses only on the perceptions part, on the perceptions of the participants and assured that this study will benefit them in an utmost manner regardless of how vulnerable they are for data management the researcher gathered data through observation and interviews to have an accurate interpretation of the data these were arranged into concept or themes until the researcher and the participants agreed to classify the data accurately in particular the researcher described the lived experiences of the participants by using the George's method of interpretation. Why I chose George's method of analysis? Because it focuses only on the experiences of the participants and aims to bracket the opinion and knowledge of the researcher. In tra transcribing transcript digest and level of analysis by using the George's method of interpretation, there are four steps in making this. In accordance with the Syrian 1965 approach, the researcher attempted to bracket her own perception and attitudes toward the evidence-based practice. First, in George's analysis, um, the first step is to read the entire naive description. Second is the demarcation of meaning units. Third, transforming meaning units into sensitive descriptive expression. And then the fourth one, uh, synthesis of general psychological structure establishing trustworthiness the researcher observed credibility dependability confidentiality and transferability in establishing trustworthiness of the data for credibility it applies to uh, the objective and subjective components of belie believability of the source of message Dependability was observed in the study by accurately transcribing the verbatim, while confidentiality observed as the treatment of individuals as disclosed in the context of trust. The researcher uses, used and adapted the informed consent, consent patterned by the WHO. The result of this study, from the clear-cutting clear process analysis of the participants' verbalizations of their experiences as an emergency room nurses regarding evidence-based practice, several touches emerged. First, how the emergency room nurses perceived about evidence-based practice. Second, their perceptions about the challenges and opportunities. Third, their desire to improve their skills. And fourth, their reflection on the said phenomenon. For the first the metaphor one-way tunnel characterizes a pathway towards brightness. Most of the participants stated that evidence-based practice must go along with the nursing procedures that nurses must practice because it is a process for better outcomes. The tunnel is full of darkness representing the challenges and barriers that the nurses may encounter along the way. Yet, one could glimpse a ray of light at the end that means hope. Hence, the title of the research, Traversing the One-Way Tunnel, The Live Experiences of Emergency Room Nurses on Evidence-Based Practice. The following are the thematic analysis which analyzes, which summarizes the sentiments, comments, and perceptions of the participants categorically divided into four themes, namely, first, a torch lifat, an invisible journey, bold and plain, and a radiant end. A torch-lit path, this characterizes a tunnel that can be viewed or recognized even if it is dark. Like what most of the participants are saying, this evidence-based practice is a new nursing process that must be incorporated in their daily decision-making and daily routine of caring. Second theme, an invisible journey. Most of the participants share that there are a lot of barriers that they encounter along the way. Like an invisible tunnel, the hope of overcoming these obstacles is almost unseen. 
some of them realize the relationship of evidence-based practice between their environment, their workplace, and other personal related. For the third theme, bold and plain, after visualizing that dark invisible tunnel subsequent to all negative perceptions from the participants, they have known the importance of continuous learning continuous learning process they said that this could help them develop who they are and what they can be in the future and that continuing education can help them build confidence and credibility at work and for my fourth theme a radiant end every tunnel must might have a little or almost zero visibility but as long as you are perseverant in traversing it amidst challenges you will finally witness a promising radiant end. This is true to most of the participants who endure lots of trials and challenges and yet come with a satisfying feelings of achievement. For conclusions, emergency room nurses' experiences reveal one way to absorb EVP gradually to, ma to no matter how hard and challenging to understand EVP from unknown to known. This can be used not only as a blueprint for further research in this field, but also as a catalyst for change in discussing future, future issues, particularly the nursing profession in the Philippines. And my recommendation, the researcher therefore recommended that a positive insight, perception, and understanding about evidence-based practice must be instilled to all nurses to develop their skills and knowledge in order to provide quality and safe services. That's all. Thank you. Thank you guys for listening.